to do is a little bit of miscellaneous stuff um, that has to do with file I.O. Um, so the first thing is, what if you want to pass one of these things to a function? Well, you can do that. It's easy. Um, let's call this um, deal with file stuff. Um, and <clears throat> I'm going to give this guy the type if stream. Um, and I'll give it the name, and then as a rule, file streams always need to be passed by reference, and that's true if they're IF streams or OF streams. So I can um, send all this stuff up. If everything's good, we can do this business, like up in this file here. Oh, I'll need this string also. Oh, let's send the string up. Okay. So I can do all that stuff. We'll call it deal with the file. We'll send it the if, uh, what did I call it, input. And we'll send it this string. And we can do stuff in the function instead of in main. So that's all you got to remember is that I need to pass it by reference if I'm passing it to a function. Okay. Um, what else do I want to show you? I'm going to do this back to where it was. Um, if I want to read characters instead of lines or words, I have some options. So let's say this guy was, instead of a string, was a char. Okay. If I read with the regular um, old insertion operator, or extraction operator, sorry, um, let's see what I get. So in my sample text, which is what this thing is reading, here's what's in here. Let's run this. Uh, did I mess something up? What did I mess up? Sample text. Okay. Here it is. Um, proof that blah, 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 blah. And you'll notice the thing that's missing off this is all the spaces. So because space is a delimiter, delimiter for this operator, I lose it, um, it ignores them, it skips over them when I read in with this operator. But what if I want to keep the spaces? Well, there's a little tiny variation, um, and it looks like this. Um, it's dot get. And so I run that off of my file stream, and it'll put the contents of whatever it's reading into this little char that I've called C. And when I run it with this guy, you'll see that I now have the spaces back in there. So if I want to read content with spaces and keep the spaces for some reason, then I can do that with input.get. 